Hi, this is Steve with Zensoft. And in this video, we're going to continue to manage the content of our website, the front end of our website, which is powered by WordPress. Specifically, we're going to edit the static blocks that are here below and make adjustments to them. So these are referred to as static blocks. There's three of them here. And let's go ahead and walk through the steps on how to make adjustments to these and to edit the content. One of the things I want to point out to you is up at the very top, we have this Edit Page button. And since I want to edit the content of the static blocks on this page, I can go ahead and click on this. So this has taken us to WordPress. And we can see the three static blocks here below that I want to edit. To get to this page directly from WordPress, we would click on Pages and go to the Home page. Here we are provided a Fusion Builder, and a lot of this is drag and drop, so it's quite easy to use. So I've decided that I'd like to have three static blocks, but rather than side by side, I'd like them to be a bit larger and be one under another. So I'd like to go with a three-fifths of a page. So I can just drag this over and drop it, and I now have a three-fifths of a page section to work with. Then under Builder Elements, I can drag and drop into this three-fifths section whatever type of content I'm going to be adding. So for example, I can add in a YouTube video, an image frame, I might want to have a blog or some text block. So let's pull into this an image frame and I just drop it down. And let's say I also want some text block. Then I can go ahead and add in the image that I want to use. So under image, I have upload. This is taking me to my media library. Select the image I want to use. I can change the size. I'm going to go with large and insert into page. Then I can add in a border if I'd like to, change the radius or the style color. A lot of different options and features to choose from. So I'll go ahead and save this. Then I'll go down to my text block, edit, and I can add whatever text I would like. Now you can also copy content from another source and paste it in here. But you do have to be a little careful of that and always make sure that it looks correct on the website. So I'll go ahead and save this. Now I already changed the image on the next two uh, static blocks, but let me show you how I did that. First of all, I'm going to increase the size to 3 fifths. Okay, and then I just click on Edit. Go down to edit image, pick the image I'm going to use, insert it, and save. And I do the same thing for the third image. But let's make this three-fifths as well. Okay, perfect. And under the text block, I can edit that as well. On this one, I changed the title to Cruises, and of course the rest of the text can be changed also. But let's save that. And I did the same thing under the last one. So I'll go up to the top, update the changes, and to view these on the website, we'll go to View Page, and let's see how this all looks. Okay, so here I have the three static blocks, and they look good. But what if I want this text over here on the side? So I want to make a couple other adjustments. So I'll go back up to Edit Page, I'm going to add another column here, two-fifths. I'm going to drop it right here. I'll go to Builder Elements. I want the content of this to be a text block, so I'll drag and drop that in. Let's just copy what I already have here, so I'll go under Edit. So I'm just going to copy this whole thing. And I'll go in here and paste it into this block. Okay, save the changes. Now I'll delete this one. Before I finish the other two, let's take a look at how this looks on the web page. Okay, and I like that better here on this side. So let me do the same thing for the other two blocks. Go back up to Edit Page. Go in here, copy this. Drag in a two-fifths page. 
We'll want one more down here as well. Okay, go under Builder Elements, drag in a text block. Edit, paste that in, save, can delete this and delete this block. Go into edit on the last one, copy, paste that in, save my changes, delete and delete this block and let's see how that looks go to view page okay so now I have my resorts cruises and activities now I bolded this one so I'll do the same here and on activities as well but I'd also like there to be a little bit more space between the slider and the first static block so go to edit page under Builder Elements, I'm going to grab a separator and drop that in. Then I want to go in and bold the cruises and do the same under Activities. And just about forgot, but I need to go under Separator, edit this and I have a top margin and a bottom margin. So I want there to be some space above the separator, which is where the slider is, before I get to my static blocks. So let's try 120 and see what that does. So I'll save, update, go to view page. Okay, and there's a lot more space here now than before. So maybe a little bit more than I need, but as you can see, you can make all kinds of changes and you can manage the content on your web page to just about anything you'd like. So again, have fun with it. In the next video, I'll be walking you through the steps on setting up a brand new page. Right now, when we go to our resorts tab, it takes us to the product page that was originally set up. So I'll need to rename this page as well as edit the entire content. So take a look at that next video and thanks for watching.